either he would bring four male witnesses testifying of seeing his wife committing adultery. Don't marry women of honor and dignity if you cannot honor them. This is a question from a brother. He says a woman got divorced after wedding night because she did not bleed. Her husband accused her of zina, but she never did wrong in her life. There is a tradition of putting white cloth on bed to check the bride bleed or not. What does Islam say about this? This is outrageous. This is disgusting. This has no relationship with Islam, none whatsoever. No man with honor and dignity would ever think of doing something heinous like this. Even animals don't do things like this. The hymen of a woman is not always broken at the wedding night. Sometimes it takes a week. Sometimes it takes more. Sometimes it breaks without bleeding. Most of women don't have it because of the physical sports they do, riding bicycles, running, jumping. So to have the audacity to accuse a pure, innocent woman of zina just because of your failure to intellectually think like a real man, this is outrageous. It's very simple. Islam shows us how to deal with such ignorant imbeciles in a beautiful manner. The moment this husband, after the wedding night, accuses his wife of zina for failing to bleed as if it's something she has control over, this accusation by itself, only two male witnesses are required. They should go to the Muslim court and file a case of slander against him. Either he would bring four male witnesses testifying of seeing his wife committing adultery, or he would swear four times, taking Allah's name, that she is a adulteress or a fornicator. And the fifth time, he said that may Allah's curse be upon him if he was telling the lie. And no one, no, no Muslim would do that because he knows that he will go to hell if he does this. He didn't see anything. She, she didn't do anything. So such people who do such customs, they're not related to Islam. You will have tomorrow daughters and you will have sisters and you will be in the same boat. So be careful. Don't marry women of honor and dignity if you cannot honor them.